Hey guys, I'm back with another book haul. I am going to be hauling all the books that I received and bought in the months of September and October. It's already November and it's insane how fast this year is going by. But this might be my smallest book haul yet because I kind of have gone into a book buying ban without meaning to. <laughs> I'm not on a band, but I just haven't gotten the urge to buy any books and that's why these stacks are kind of small. But I'm just gonna get started and first ones I'm gonna show you are the books that I bought in the month of September. So because in a previous book haul I hauled this book that I found somewhere. I don't know where I found this. I think at a thrift store. I was looking into it and I loved the covers to the other books. So I really wanted that. So because I hauled this, I hauled these next two books and they are The Resurrection Fields. The other book is The Cracked Mirror and these are by Brian Keeney. This is The Promises of Dr. Sigmundus. They're quite thin. That font might be my favorite font yet. Next up, I did go to the thrift store and I found a Sarah Dessen book. I always buy Sarah Dessen books because I don't know, it was my childhood. <laughs> Got this lullaby. I don't know if I have it already, but I have this copy now and it was less than a dollar, so it's fine. And then I'm super excited. I found this one. It's called The Broken Girls by Simone St. James. I've been lusting after it for years. But yeah, I saw it at the thrift store and it was meant to be because the day before I think I was thinking about this book. So it was pretty cool. The other one I got is The Girl Below by Bianca Zander. I love Gates, so I had to have this one. And then the last one I got at the thrift store is completely a spine buy. Not the cover, but the spine. And that is Gideon by Linda Buckley Archer. This is ripped. And I don't like the eye at all. But this spine is what just made me take it home. I love it so much. And it's so foily and beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. And I had to have it. That looks amazing. <laughs> and this is what the bag looks like. And then next up, I did buy some books at Target. First one is Pumpkin Heads by Rainbow Rowell. I loved this graphic novel so much. I have it tabbed, of course. I just love, love, love the drawing style and I love that there's a map of the pumpkin patch. This book inspired me to go to the pumpkin patch for the first time and I took my little sister and my parents and it was just amazing to put myself in this book while I was at the pumpkin patch and see like all the similarities and all the differences. It's so cute. If you want like a quick read, I definitely recommend this one. Even if it's not fall, I am not a seasonal reader. I will read whatever the heck I want, whenever I want. And then I got a poem book. I started reading this at Target and then, I don't know, a bunch of poems really struck a chord with me and I couldn't walk away from it. I already <laughs> tabbed the heck out of this one. It came to me when I needed it. It was a pretty cool experience to read this. Yeah, I'm not really a poem book person, but I was in the mood for it, I guess. The last book I bought is House of Salt and Sorrows by Erin A. Craig. I already read this one as well, and it was underwhelming. But this isn't a book review video, so I'm not really going to get into it. I loved the cover, and I loved the end papers. That is beautiful. There's some masks seahorses. It's a beautiful, beautiful book on the outside, but I just wish it was as beautiful on the inside. I don't know. I feel like I've been getting a lot pickier with what I read now and I'm not enjoying anything as I once was. But okay, the next books I'm going to show you are books that were sent to me for review. First one up came from the novel or Little Brown and that is When the Stars Lead to You by Ronnie Davis. This one comes out this month, November. And the back says, for friends of Nicola Yoon comes the heated first love romance between two teens who are torn apart one summer by prejudice and mental illness only to find each other once again. This one is from Thomas and Mercer and it's called Last Day by Luann Rice. This comes out in February of next year. 
I'm just gonna read you the first paragraph. A stolen painting, a gruesome murder, a detective desperate for justice. Last Day is a gripping New England based thriller from New York Times bestselling author Huan Rice. Next stop is one I'm super excited about. I love, love, love this cover. It was sent to me by Harper Collins, and this is One Night Gone. I'm gonna try and explain this a little bit. But there was a disappearance in this house, and our main character gets invited to house it this house and then I guess it's like about solving the disappearance of this other woman and next up I have a book from Little Bird Publicity and that is Coming Home for Christmas by Rianne Thane the other book that I got from Little Bird Publicity was An Equal Justice by Shad Zunker this is another unsolicited and it doesn't look like it's quite up my alley so yeah and last but not least is a book that I was sent by Wednesday Books. This is Ruthless Gods by Emily A. Duncan. This is not the cover yet, but this says darkness never works alone. And there's the spine. And then on the back it says things are waking up, old things, dark things. The old ones who have slept for so very, very long. This comes off. How beautiful is that? And this is what the book looks like. This is such a thick book. I have Wicked Saints right here and then look at that. It's like double and a half. This one comes out April of next year. So foily. Can you guys see that? It's ridiculous the amount of detail in these books. It's just... Thank you Wednesday Books for those. But now we're gonna move on to October books. I'm gonna start with the books that I bought again. And I think this was just my one trip to the Dollar Tree. The first one that I found was Malicious Intent by Katherine Fox. I think this follows like a forensic decision and I'm um, all about that you know. And the next one up is Lawless and the Flowers of Sin by William Sutton. This was purely a cover by I don't know something about the simplicity of this just caught my eye. This is a first rate Victorian crime fiction and I was sold. <laughs> The next one I got is The New Order by Chris White. This is a sequel to The Young World. I was sent The Young World and I don't know, I saw this and I was like, why not? Next one was another cover by. It's called Thorn Ghost by Tone Um Jill. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know how to say the last name. But this is so beautiful. Just look at that. I feel like middle grade novels just put in so much work into their covers that just blow my mind. The next one I got is Opening Act by Dish Tillman. I don't know, this seems like something I would read, so. And then I found The Vigilante Poets of Selwyn Academy. The only thing more dramatic than reality TV is high school. This is by Kate Hadamer. And the last one that I bought is What's Become of Her by Deb Coletti. This looks super mysterious and dark, so. Pretty excited to see what goes on in this book. Yeah, those are all the books that I bought. So now the only books I have left to show you are the books that were sent to me. And the first one is not a book, <laughs> but Bloomsbury did send this to me and that is Embers of Memory. This is the Throne of Glass game based on Sarah J Mass's books. I can't believe they sent this to me. It's just meant so much to me. This is what the back looks like. And I'm so excited to play it. Amy and I have been trying a few weeks to set a date to play it but life is hectic. The next book was sent to me by Wednesday Books and that is The Grace Year by Kim Liggett. This is a finished copy they did send me an advanced reader copy. Ooh, look at those end papers. And then there's a little imprint side. And this book was sent to me by Actually, these next three books were sent to me by Bloomsbury. The first one is All the Invisible Things by Orla Collins. This comes out in March of next year. The next one they sent me is We Are Blood and Thunder by Kessia Lupo. But this also comes out in March of next year and it looks like a pretty epic fantasy. This one says, In this sweeping YA fantasy set in a world plagued by devastating storms, two girls, one running away, one returning home find their magical fates entwined. And the last one that Bloomsbury sent me is one that I <laughs> literally cried when I got it. I've been in love with Bridget Kemmer writing for so long that I just die over everything that she writes. So when I read A Curse So Dark and Lonely, I immediately needed the second book because the way it ended, it just like blew my mind. <laughs> and I have that sequel. I don't know what to do with myself because this book is my number one anticipated release of this year. Well, of next year. And it's just, oh my God, 
I can't believe I have it in my hands. Bloomsbury is too kind and I appreciate the heck out of them. This one comes out next year in January. And, ugh, I'm just... I'm so grateful. So this is a sequel of Heart So Fierce and Broken. But yeah, I have it in my hands and I try hard to not cry about it every day. The series is basically a Beauty and the Beast retelling and I'm all about Beauty and the Beast and retelling. Smith Publicity sent me Embracing Life by Emika Anyam. This one, I don't know if I'm blind or not, but it doesn't tell me when it comes out. But this kind of like advice on certain situations it's like single parenting seeking help for emotions ignoring bad behaviors it's a self-help book and i've been really into that lately just because i'm trying to help myself <laughs> stop acting up embracing adulthood <laughs> it's just a book that's really relevant to me right now and i can't wait to read this whenever these situations pop up in my life and now i have a package to show you guys this was sent to me by smith publicity as well this is what it looks like so excuse me <laughs> so first they sent me the book by itself and it's called trapeze by lee ansel this follows an aerialist it kind of bugs me that this is not trapeze but anyway <laughs> so excited for this one <sighs> I love anything circus related and they sent me two copies because I'm gonna give away one then this package came and inside we have a popcorn little sign some temporary tattoos there's a mustache <laughs> this should have been my thumbnail wow missed opportunity and lastly they sent me Cracker Jack popcorn I'm a sucker for this popcorn I took a lot out of me to not open this before I filmed this video the thing I'm most excited about is the fact that I can now eat these that is it for that and that is it for this video I have a new desk in my room so I'm so excited that my tripod can now be on a desk instead of my bed thank you to all the publishers that sent me books I still can't believe that this is my life. I love it. I'm gonna go put these all away. Let me know what book you're most excited to read. I will see you guys on my next video. I hope you guys are having an amazing week. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Bye.